Hey Minecrafters, welcome back to the channel. Or to the channel if you're new here and to episode 39 in our All the Mods 9 series. As I always say, there's quite a few things I have planned, so grab a drink, grab a snack, whatever it is that you get for while you watch videos, and let's get on with the fun. Okay, so we have some comments to go over and as well, you know, all the the other the other stuff that I like to babble on about at the start of the video. But I do want to touch on something that happened um, that I put it in the community post uh, as to why this video is not going up until Sunday. So I tried out of curiosity. Well, at first it was kind of an accident. I was looking through the, the notes, the, the update notes, and I accidentally pressed update, uh, which I didn't mean to. So I was like, well, I guess I'm just going to let it update and see what happens. And that was a big mistake because it took me about two and a half hours to fix said mistake, because once I updated to dot 53 um it corrupted my world and of course i majorly panicked thankfully i have backups um but then i had to revert back to dot 40 re uh load a backup just in case something had happened to the world when i tried to load into it and we're back on dot 40 so i am i don't know why even though i said i'm not gonna update from dot 40 uh until i get like the complete green light go ahead but um i have learned my lesson so we are back on dot 40 so i still don't have quark but that's okay We'll get there eventually. Uh, anyways, let's go over the comments. So Akino says, uh, by the way, while you were making the Awakened Supremium blocks, the recipe only requires 10 of each essence and the altar is taking 40 of each. Presumably it's max amount because you were holding a stack. You might have to just split them into groups of 10 so you don't uh, have to spend so much time gathering more essence than you actually need. I don't know why it's using up the essence anyways, even if it's not needed as I'm just watching you play. Um, so what they mean is when I was making the Supremium blocks, or the awakened supremium blocks it was taking 40 instead of 10 so we're going to test that out and see if that's happening because that's actually going to be really useful for any of my other worlds that i'm doing but uh yeah that's kind of silly if that's how it is so thank you for pointing that out akito i appreciate it and nadi says hi hi hope you're okay you are okay i know a lot have said this already but i'll offer an explanation instead the pedestals, both ours and mystical, don't have a set order as there is no front side to them. Thus, you can't define set places other than the fire, earth, water, air essence going into the jars rather than on the pedestals. I think I saw two dusk arcs and one of the other one in your AE system when searching for the arcs at the end. They were on the bottom row, second and third slot. I think you were just conscious of time, so was distracted and didn't see them. Um, did I read the whole comment? No, okay. <laughs> it's a long comment, so we're gonna we're gonna touch that. So they said the arcs. Um Yeah, the ethereal arc and the dusk arc, these two here, these aren't implemented yet. Or like the the the, the bosses that um that drop these aren't implemented yet. So I'm not sure if that's what they were referring to, but uh, yeah, that, that might be, that might be what they were referring to. Cause the other arcs I have, actually you can see by the little green hearts, I have them on me, but yeah, thank you, Naughty. I appreciate you a ton as always. And Ash coming in with the, <laughs> Ash being Ash, <laughs> watching grass or flowers grow with Creo and with a little silly face. And then with a the spider that size, no wonder blue skies was a no fly zone. <laughs> I love sharing her messages with her little comments with you guys if you don't check the comment section because they just make my life so much happier like she's just lovely so thank you Ash I always appreciate the giggles especially after all of that craziness so uh easy breezy says love the video thanks for reminding me to I need to give my starbuckles a bed you're welcome <laughs> I think it was Sarah actually that that started that for Godforge pearls I head to the end and explore a little bit till Apotheosis boss spawns. Uh, pretty sure they're always legendary, but I've also captured a treasure goblin in a containment jar and have a Drigme collecting loot from it. It's been getting me a decent amount of gear and gems. So um, I have uh, taken that and I've actually added a gem to our sword that I've made it a perfect one. So attacking an entity has a 1.5% chance to summon a treasure goblin. So when that little bugger spawns, we're gonna scoop him up in a containment jar. I have made the containment jar. It is right here. And we are going to try and scoop him up and do all that today because I think that is adorable. Now for the Drigme farming, I'm assuming Drigmes work the same as like Starbuncles. Like you have to give them like a charm or use a charm or do I have a Drigme charm? I should have a Drigme charm. I'm assuming it works the same, right? Drigme token. Yeah, so I'm assuming like this here will do the same as like the other tokens. Okay, actually, let me grab that. So yeah, we're going to test that out today. But thank you for all of the comments, you guys. They uh, they help as always. And of course, they just give me a giggle. So I adore you to the moon and back. Um, I am a little out of it today because I slept like absolute poop. So my brain is uh, extra clustered. <laughs> so bear with me. So 
we're going to go and do a few things and then um i really don't know what else i wanted to do like i kind of wanted to go back and fight the the arachnarch and the um the tree boss a few more times because i only have the oops i only have the um this nature arc the oh this one's a rare one though how much higher can these go how much higher can the because this one's the rare one does it go above rare because i don't want to go and fight him again if it doesn't go above rare let's uh let's do a google just in case because i don't want to get uber goobered with that where's my hold on i'm trying to Oh my gosh. <laughs> Firefox, please. It's like, as soon as I'm trying to open this while I'm recording, it's like, we have an update. So what was it called again? The nature arc. Oh my good gravy. There we go. Nature arc blue skies. Oh, and I also just realized that our music is not on again there we go oh is my okay it is okay so let's take a look at this nature arc oh so i have the top i have the top one for the nature arc wow i got really lucky okay so we don't need to go back and fight the tree guy but we do need to go back and fight the arachnarch but the thing is um Increases damage dealt by one when poisoned. What do we really fight that poisons us? Because I'm, don't I have like a ring that reduces poison effects? No, I don't. Okay, that's fine. I thought I did. Wait, what? Am I thinking of a different world? Normally, yes. Um, interesting. Oh, I just realized that I'm sitting way too close to my mic. Okay. Okay, so... I saw that you can do a thing with this, right? So this is uncommon. So if I combine this with something, I can make this one, I can make this one, no, I can't. But I can't get these yet because the boss isn't implemented. Okay, okay, never mind. So that, <laughs> that was a total cluster. Okay, so we'll, 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 we'll go back and fight the Arachnarch again. Um, we're gonna have to find an, oh wait, no, no, we don't. I don't think we need more keys, right? I think we can summon her without the keys now? I think that's what it said? Is that what... Somebody mentioned something about that. I, I thought I saw something about that. Do I have to... Well, whatever. We'll go, we'll go test it. So what else do I want to do? Ooh, we need to go and check the chunk destroyer and see how much XP. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dump all our XP in here. So all the 934 levels. 934, 934. If I could English today, that would be swell. Let's go over to the chunk destroyer. Where you be? There you are. I had to make sure I turned on my jetpack because, uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's been pumping pretty good. Now, oh, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's grab this. Oh my gosh, 2,008,000 and clan and hub uh, hub. Wow, wow, that is so much XP. And then look at all these goodies. <gasps> look at all that ancient debris, all that Certus quartz. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's tasty. Mm, it's so tasty. Okay, so let's throw this in here. Oh my god, okay, we're gonna we're gonna take some levels though. There we go. And I kind of came in here and, and was doing some stuff yesterday. So I've been getting a bunch of this stuff pumping. I have a whole bunch of like, look at all the silicon and stuff. So let's do, so I'm going to do the harvester pylon for mage bloom. We'll do that. So let's make a harvester pylon. And everybody was explaining the harvester pylon thing to me because I'm a derp and I, <laughs> <laughs> didn't realize it had to be exactly like the picture i was taking it very literally and just thinking like i could put it anywhere and it would still work in xyz but apparently that's not how that works so we're gonna set one of these up for the mage bloom um i'd like to maybe start batania but 
there is something I do need to do. I do need to go to the deeper and darker because uh, we've done enough with er, wither. <laughs> we've done enough enough warden booping to have the items for the helmet, which we need to wear in the deeper and darker to fight the darkness. Uh, I'm not going to make the whole gear because I don't need uh, I don't need any super crazy gear. But um, we're just going to go there because uh, we haven't been there, and I mean it's. There's not that much there. There's like a pyramid and there's, I think there's one other building I, I haven't gone to, but it's really, there's really not that much to that dimension. But the only reason why I'm saying we're going to go is I'm pretty sure I, I could be wrong. We, I may have seen it. Oh, is it not part of the, all the mod star? I thought it was. Um, because yeah, the, the, the all the mod star is definitely a goal. Um, even if I'm on dot 40, I don't know if anything has changed for it for any of the uh, more recent updates. Like if they've added quark in with this, which would kind of suck because I mean, I, um, I definitely, want to complete this I, I might just stay on dot 40 I, I don't know how we're gonna I don't know how we're gonna do this but hopefully they haven't changed this for the newer updates because I'd like to just like have this you know the way that I want it and, and just keep following it the way that it is wait what is this oh gosh I have to make so much of those okay oh I'm so excited to make this Patrick you have no idea that's so cute okay so I don't see anything on here about deeper and darker actually do i really have to go there i mean i'm gonna go there just for the sake of going there but um okay yeah well we're gonna go there anyways because we haven't got golden trees to create the oblivion shard for the star you'll need to learn how to tap into nature's aura using rituals for that we'll need to make some shiny trees make brilliant fiber and use it on the crown of a tree over time it will spread to the rest of the leaves and you can harvest a tree for gold leaves Ooh, that's kind of oh my gosh see i like the days where i'm kind of just completely out of it because i cannot have more patience to read that stuff but uh i also just remembered i haven't explained so i, I well i did tell you guys i was gonna you know take time to to do the Paxel, but this is what's going on with the Paxel thing. So you can't put chainsaw on a Paxel, even though it's a replacement for your axe. So um, I, it doesn't matter. I don't really need chainsaw anymore anyways, but I have done this the way that my pickaxe was, like I said, I was going to. So it has the fortune on it, has the efficiency on it. All my gems are on it. Um, speed two, haste two, all that stuff is on this. So yeah, she's uh, she's looking exactly how my, my pickaxe was. And she is now also my shovel and my axe because I didn't have anything really significant on those so it didn't really matter I did I do have silky still silky is still going to be for you know our silk touch stuff and then our sword obviously I showed you guys um I ended up re-rolling it and I got ancient knowledge three on it so I'm really happy about that it's also got chaining on it so it's going to be a little dangerous but uh yeah and then of course my, my bow is still my bow and uh all that jazz and our time in a bottle is looking pretty juicy and yeah so that's the update and all that and she's looking good she's looking real good um haven't done anything with the gear really nothing else really to update on but yeah let's oh gosh i'm pressing all the wrong buttons today let's go to the magic area uh, somebody was asking jaime was asking in the discord uh if anybody has ever experienced anyone breaking the uh hyper boxes while they're inside of it and what happens so if anyone has had that experience i haven't tested it yet I'm, <laughs> i want to though but uh, if anyone has done that with their friends let us know because that would just be absolutely hilarious uh, let's see i have a bunch of stuff on this list um the harvester pylon for mage bloom I did that. I don't need this. Oh, right, the helmet. That's what I was gonna do. I already forgotten. I was just talking about it. So this warden helmet here. So we need the warden smithing template, um, a netherite helmet, and a reinforced echo shard. I should have the warden template. Yes, and then I should have the shard. Oh uh, no, I need a rein. No, I need a reinforced echo shard. There we go. 
And then I need a netherite helmet. Like so. Wait, wait nope, I'm a derp. I forgot this is 1.20. <laughs> this is indeed 1.20. Oh, boy. Diamonds. Oh my gosh, I might get a little too close to the mic because I'm like fidgeting because I am sleepy. So I apologize. Let's um, upgrade, or not upgrade, let's dupe this so I don't run out of them. There we go. A boop, 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 a boop, boop, boop. There we go. Wait, I made the, oh my gosh, I'm double clicking. Did I, I made the right one, right? <clears throat> yes, that is the correct one. Okay. The elytra looks so cool. Um, I do need to get the echo soil for the echo sapling, which you can't grow in botany pots. So I need to get that echo soil to grow them. You can buy them from Emerald Muncher, but you can't grow them in the botany pots. So we do, actually, we do need to go there for some echo soil and we'll go and kind of explore around a little bit. The only downside is I'm going to be losing uh, my luck oh this only has 15 percent. i think i have other gems i'm gonna i think i'm gonna juice this one up a little bit just to just to kind of try to avoid losing too much um let's see oh this song i love it so much um what do i not want that's that that's that's i don't know why this song is so beautiful but oh my gosh kudos to whoever, whoever made this Show nice. That's... That's... Okay. Put you here. Okay. Let us see. Perfect. And then we'll just do... Because we've already got one of those... There we go. And I mean, I can I can remove the gem there. So we're not losing too much. Actually, we're gaining some health, which is nice. Uh, oh, right. We need air affinity and aqua affinity. I'm going to need to get air affinity on this, I think, because. Um... Oh, where's my air affinity guy? Wait. That's my aqua affinity. Where's my air affinity guy? Oh no. Where's all my villagers? Where's all my like? Oh my gosh, I keep moving into my mic. I'm so sorry. Where's all my librarians? Wait. Wait. I have like a million villagers and a million enchantments. I'm so utterly confused. And the fact that I can't search for air at to search by mod, star to search by ID. Do I have to do a star? No, yeah, because usually you can go like this, right? Huh. Very weird. Okay, anyways. I guess we're just going to have to do a little quick look-see. Wait, did I just see? Okay, I saw protection four. What do I have on my helmet right now? Protection six. Well, protection, whatever, that doesn't matter. Um... Let's see if we can find air affinity. I should have so much. It's just, it's weird. Cause before I could search like that. And I did see in one of the current patch notes that they fixed something about searching in applied energistics. But, uh, unfortunately I cannot update. So we're just stuck with this. Where am I past it? Oh, 
air affinity. There it is. Okay. So let's do this. And we'll go like this. Then we'll go like this. There we go. Okay. It's giving us even more hearts. That's wild. Okay. So let's just put this stuff away. So we need the heart to go there. I'm going to put this in my bag because it's going to drive me bonkers. Let's go over there. We'll come back and do the pylon after. Should we do the pylon first? No, because it's going to take me a minute. So let's go over to Z. And I will organize these and everything, definitely. There we go. Oh, it's so noisy. So you guys, if you don't know, you have to clear out all of the, um, the uber goopers that are on here. And then you should be able to light it like so. All right, let's go. Oh! <laughs> don't be a dork like me and fly back through the portal. So, okay. This is the Echo Soil. <laughs> okay. What? Look at all the... Oh my god, the map is so pretty. Look at this. Oh, it is so beautiful. So we don't have Chainsaw, but that's okay. Give me all this. Oh my god, this... This Paxel, good God. Wait, I'm just gonna put all this in here. I hear you. Where are you? Hey. Okay, so the goal is to find one of those structures. Oh, and we should probably put our containment jar because we'll boop something with this sword and then see if we can um get one of those treasure goblins i am gonna probably be fidgeting around quite a bit so let's see deeper and darker ancient temple 1003 blocks this way okay let's smack this guy with the sword this bond a treasure goblin do i have my magnet on do how do you know if the treasure goblin spawns is it like does it make noise does it like Make crazy noise. Oh, what is this? Skulk Gleam. Interesting. That's actually really cool looking. Oh, this Paxel is wild though. Oh my god. Hi. No treasure goblin yet? Shattered Charm. Oh, that's right, because they spawn in this area. Right, 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 right. Look at all of them. Okay, let's try to get ourselves a treasure goblin. Treasure goblin? So yeah, this is deeper and darker. This is obviously not the only biome. It's not super scary for me right now because... Uh, well, A, I have the helmet on. And B, because I'm kind of beefy. But if you take the helmet off... It should. You sh should be blind. Well, I guess this area isn't as bad because it's got all these lights, but wait. And I know my shaders aren't affected. Don't affect this. Oh, wait, is it getting darker? Because I've done this in another series and when I took the helmet off, it got real dark and I used the same shaders. So it should. Is it because, well, we'll test it in a different biome, but uh, yeah, so you should have a bunch of darkness if you're not wearing a helmet. I don't know if something's changed, but I know for a fact, oh god, I know for a fact that, uh, can I hit you guys please? I know for a fact that um, it does work that way because I've tested it with, oh my god. Okay, you're kind of creepy. Are you going to attack me? Huh. Give me that. 
These little things are so that's one of the main reasons I've avoided coming to this dimension is the the creepies. Like the the centipedes and stuff, because there's oh. I kinda wanna use silk touch on this? Oh god, I'm falling. What the heck are you? I'm just gonna put everything in here. And then put you in here. Okay, so I'm I'm seeing some things I'm not used to. Oh my gosh, give me all of this gorgeous. It's just oh god, it's so pretty. I love it. I want it all. Give me. Okay, so oh, grab that too. And that. Um, I want to see. Oh god, there's three of them! Okay, listen, those guys are freaking cool looking. Hi! You are kind of cool looking. Creepy though. Definitely not as creepy as the uh, centipedes. But creepy. Cool sounds though. Very cool sounds. Okay, we need. I'm getting distracted. I'm getting very distracted at the moment. So, um, where were we going? This way. We'll just blast our way through here. Take all of these blocks. I love that sound. Like, it's... It's... The dimension itself is really, really cool. It's just the centipedes that give me the heebie-jeebies. Which, centipedes are very useful in real life, but... Good god, in this game they are so creepy. grabbing all the things oh 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 there we go more of that that sound is great though oh my gosh kudos to the the dev that's a really really pleasant sound okay so it says it's over here and this dimension isn't um one of the ones in the no-fly zone Did I just hear a stinky? Oh! Actually, I just remembered something. I said I was going to show the art, and I got permission from the people who- Oh god, there's the centipedes. Yeah, good, it's a good time to take a little break to show you guys some art. Hold on. We're just gonna we're just gonna chill here for a second. So I got permission from the people who made the the art that I was talking about, and I'm gonna show you guys this real quick because they are so cute. So give me one second. I'm gonna have to come back once I set this up in um, a little window. So hold on. Okay, so I've got them all set up. So I'm gonna show you guys. So the first one is from Scrap Doodle, who made this. Just oh, they're the cutest little things. And I guess <laughs> well, I had mentioned it in the last video about some of the text they put on it. So you guys take a look at this so oh my gosh they are so unbelievably cute like just the the speaks and rainbows went excited hi stinkies with the axe over my head oh my god the colors are beautiful land of blocks and creatures athena's lotus like oh my god it's so cute so scrap thank you so much for this she is just precious all i guess there's two there's like a little 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 mini one and then the 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 other character but oh my god they are so good so 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 good so thank you for taking the time out of your day to make this art for me. It's just so unbelievably precious. I adore her so much. Um, and yeah, uh, I just, it means a lot when you guys do this kind of stuff because it just, it makes my entire day. Um, so Kyle made this one. This is obviously of my, my Minecraft character. She's so precious. Look at her. Oh, my little flower. Oh my God. I love her. She's adorable as heck. Look at that hair. Oh, <laughs> I like the little addition of like the hair ties. It's so cute. So thank you, Kyle. Thank you a ton. And Citra Ghost made this one. And I guess because when I uh, I run away and I'm always like hip 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 hip. It's so good. It's so good. And it's so funny because like the signature like hair color really tells you guys like that's that's who they've drawn. And oh my gosh, I love them so much. So these are three of the ones that I wanted to 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 showcase. Um, but yeah, so. Thank you to everyone who, who who makes the art and everything. I absolutely adore them. Obviously, I can't show everything, but um, yeah, keep them coming. If you guys you know have extra time and you want to draw me, I I love it. It's great. Oh my god, I forgot the game was still going. Let's go back to the game, shall we? <laughs> 
I hope I did that right and it shows up in the recording. But uh, yeah, let, let's, let's, let's go find the, the pyramid. But I figured I would show that off because, yeah, that's just oh so adorable. I, I should have done it at the start of the video. But um, I might show it again in the next one. Oh god, they're everywhere. Ugh. I might show it in the next video as well. Because I completely forgot to do it at the start, but yeah. Oh, I need to move my list over again. There we go. A nice little break from <laughs> seeing those creepy little buggers because, oh god, those centipedes are the absolute worst. I just like immediately skipped by them because I just do not want to deal with them. A lot of echo stuff. Before, this biome seemed really rare. What is going on? Where is this? Oh, there's another biome over here. This is the, the one with all the orange stuff. I'm not going to come and grab any of this right now. I just want to find this, uh, this pyramid. Echo location. Explore all other side biomes. Okay. So there's... Wait. Isn't there more, though? I thought there was one that had, like, the big pillars of stuff. Wasn't there one that had, like... Yeah. Oh, maybe it is this one. Oh. Wait, there's only two biomes? No, there's more than two biomes. Maybe I just I spaced. Okay. Let's go find... Oh, you can get the ores in this stuff too. Wow. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I forgot about that. Wait, I feel like I... Oh, okay. There we go. What's that? Oh my god, there's just so many things. There's just so many blocks. Good grief. Okay. I'm getting distracted. Hello, little friends. Are you guys going to drop a treasure goblin for me? Can I have a treasure goblin? Does it have to be in a specific dimension? There's so many particles. Do I have my particles turned up for some reason? I think I might. Oops. No, I had them on decreased. Oh. Okay. Well. Whoa! Jeez. Apparently these guys just like to poop up particles. What are you shooting at? You good, bud? I will never get sick of that sound. That's so unbelievably satisfying. Where is this pyramid? Hello? Oh my gosh, that's just... Oh my god, the sound. What is this? Oh, coal ore. What is these? Skulk bones. What do these do? Oh, they make the elytra! Okay. Oh, I need some water. That's your, um, your reminder to drink water. Oh, wait. It says this right here. Is it down? Is it down or up? I have a feeling it might be down. Yeah, it's down. When you land on it. There it is. Cool. Abyssal Descent. Explore the depths for a temple. Thank you. Um, um, structure compass. What's this? Smooth skulk stone. It's gonna destroy your temple, sorry. Okay, so what kind of goodies do you have? Okay. Oh, let's turn on our luck charm. Maybe that'll do us a little good? I, I have a feeling this isn't gonna affect this, uh, this dimension, but... Wow, so my packs will- so it's like a hoe, too! It takes care of that real quick. Can I take this too? Oh, wait. No, it doesn't have silk touch on it. Oops. Oh, these... These are so beautiful. Like, what? Listen, I know I give the warden a lot of flack just because he's an obnoxious brat, but... Oh, there's, uh, there's vases here. Can I take these if I silk touch them? I can. Okay, we're gonna break them all at home. 
I'm just gonna- Oh, that's- <gasps> That sound! Oh my god, that sound. Ugh! Ugh, go away. Oh, you're so creepy. <laughs> Listen. Not a lot creeps me out, but good god, those things are gross. That sounds... I... I am never gonna get sick of that sound? Question mark? Oh, they're stacking. Wait, if they're stacking, am I losing the loot? Or does the loot not generate until you break them? Hold on. I need to- I need to for science this. Because am I just wasting the loot? No, I'm not. Okay. Okay. Okay, good. We're not wasting the loot. I hear you. They're, they're like little mini wardens. Someone said the warden is in this dimension, but he, he's not. I think that they're thinking of those little, um... Those little dudes that sound like the warden. Unless, because I have the warden turned off. Hold on, let's test this. Game rule, do warden spawning true. Does he spawn in this dimension? Does he spawn in this dimension? I saw a thing go off, because I have my, my shriekers turned off. Is there a shrieker? No, they're shattered. Is there a shrieker down here? I don't see a shrieker anywhere. Oh, hello, little dude. Oh. I hear a heartbeat. Mr. Warden? You guys don't count. Oh, there's a shrieker right there. Look, what is he punching? He's punching the- he's, he's punching the skulk! Oh, you. Okay, so the warden doesn't spawn. So maybe the people were thinking of the those little dudes? Oh, these stones are so pretty. Give me that. I'm sorry. I know I I know it's rude to just like come and just What the frick was that? I know it's rude to just come and destroy things, but I mean, come on. This is so pretty. No, don't smash. Oh my god. Oh, it's you making that sound, little dude. I still haven't seen a treasure goblin. Unless he's dying. These are so pretty. Oh my god. Give me all of this. Oh, there's little hidden rooms. Oh. Oh. Not the best of loot, but still pretty cool. Is there a... Uh I think there's one place in the other that we haven't been, and it's- Oh, I just saw a, a thing. Um, it's the Piglin Tower Pyramid thing. Oops. It's like the, um, it's like an outpost almost. So maybe we'll go there and, and find that so we can like fully complete that, uh, that, not complete, but, you know, go to all the things in that dimension. Because I'm kind of just, like, in an adventuring mood today, like I normally am, but, like, it's even worse today because... Oh, there is a stinky here! Hi, Papas! There is a stinky here. Anywho, um, so, uh, what was I saying? Oh god, I forget what I was saying. <laughs> what was I saying? I don't remember. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna go there and just complete that because I'm just in an adventuring mood today. I just want to adventure and do stuff and be a goober. 
<laughs> if, if I didn't continue what I was saying, I apologize. My, uh... My memory is not the best when I am tired. But I am happy to be recording, so that just makes my day better. Uh. Oh, I didn't... Oh, skull transmitter. Okay, I've seen this before, but what does that do exactly? What does this... Skull transmitter do? Does anyone know what the skull transmitter does? Because I would really love to know. Actually, I don't want to get rid of the ash. Um, let's just get rid of the chest. Oh, well, I'm an idiot. There we go. So, that's the temple that we have destroyed. I'm sorry, Mr. Warden, I have destroyed your temple, but... Okie doke. So I'm assuming in those uh, those uh, biomes where there's shriekers and stuff, there will be more wardens spawning. So we'll, we'll just leave the warden on. I'm not afraid of him. We got so many hearts. Mr. Warden can stay on. Speak of the devil. Where is he, though? There he is. Oh, yeah. I can see how this dimension will be. A struggle if you are not prepared. Oh yeah, look at all the big boys! Wait, where is he? Where is he? There he is. So many big boys! Ugh. Creepy little mother flippers, go away! Hi, Bubba's. Oh. Oh. My jetpack doesn't seem to be. Hey, Bubba's. Oh, I can't see you past all my my jetpack poof. Okay, listen, I give the warden a lot of flack, but he's actually kind of adorable, I'm not gonna lie. Well, he's adorable until he smashes you in the face with- Did you just take a bite of me? That is so rude. Your little hop sound. He's adorable until he smashes you in the face with five hearts worth of damage. Well, I didn't expect this to turn into a boofing the warden in the snoot episode, but I guess we will. Well, we are definitely getting some goodies. That is for dang sure. I can get rid of all this crap here. This We can get rid of this. Oh, I'm going to keep that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. It's taking up our inventory here. I don't care about stairs. Okay, so there's a soul crystal. I kind of want to make those elytra just for the sake of making the elytra because they're actually really kind of cool. I'm going to get a snack and I'll be right back. So when I went for my snack, I was thinking... Maybe this helmet helps with, like, the warden's blindness? Like, the blindness that he gives you when he pops out? Is this not gonna shriek? Hello. When it summons a warden, does a shrieker become null and void? Or, no, it should still shriek, right? Okay, I want to test this. So, we didn't get it with the helmet on. So that's what that is. He just wanted to give a hug. I'm so rude. I'm so rude. I, I came down here to smack him with my sword for the people who are like, well, you're flying around. Okay, so there, I didn't fly. Ah! Jesus. These things are so creepy. I'm just trying to summon another warden so I can give him a, a, a hug. Do you mind? 
Oh, I hear another one. Where is he? <gasps> Treasure Goblin! Wait, come back! How do I... How do I put him in the containment jar? Crap, where's my containment jar? Wait! Wait, 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 Mr. Warden! How do I put the... Stop it! Where did my containment go? How do you put them in a containment jar? Come back here! No! Shush. How do you... Wait. How do I... Wait. Allows you to capture and store mobs for transportation. To capture a mob, you must perform a ritual of containment. To release a mob. A ritual of containment? Ritual of containment. Wait. Ritual of... Of... Containment. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I think... Oh. For, for, for the time being, I'm going to put him in a cage, if I can. Can I do this quick enough? Before he despawns. While I figure out this ritual of containment, we're just going to scoop him up like this. Okay, so let's put this on the list for when we get home. Ritual of containment to put treasure booger in the jar. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm clicking so many buttons wrong. Good grief. What is happening to me right now? Okay, you away. You away. Okay. I want some more wardens, because actually, you know what? Let's try to get more treasure goblins. Now that we can, like, take on the wardens peacefully. Well, peacefully, she says. So... Happy boy! Hi. Okay, he hits pretty hard. I kind of want to see how many of his booms I can take. Now, back to my question. Once one of these summons a warden... Nope, this one working. Wait, I'm confused. The other ones weren't working. Okay, let's see if we can... Uh, how... Wait. Oh, wow. Those R carts are really helping. Okay, give me a sonic boom. I mean, he is really cool. Like, I will give Mo Yang that. They did a really cool job on him. Yeah, give me. Give me another one. Okay, he needs to die. Oh my god. That took me down to red hearts. Now, if you guys have been keeping track of the red hearts, now, unless I, because some of the, the hearts look a little bit similar in color. But I swear I just saw red hearts, and that's like the second row of hearts, and I'm like six rows in. He's a strong boy. Is he like uber beefy in this dimension? Because he's only he will only take five hearts before. Unless he's like uber juicy in this dimension. Which is very possible. Give me a warden. I want another treasure goblin. So his like actual hit doesn't hurt. But that boom, good grief. Okay. That made me panic ever so slightly. Okay. 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 Yep, panic just a little bit there. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. Oh god, you guys are so creepy. Okay. Well, let's go home and do the ritual of containment. I'm actually going to put a waystone here. Uh, <clears throat> deeper. 
and darker. We're gonna go home. We're gonna take off this helmet. Okay. Okay, that, that, wow, that, okay, that hit a lot harder than I thought it was going to. I swore it was five hearts, or six hearts. That ripped through my arc hearts and brought me down, like, I swear that red is the, what the, no, no, actually, no, I think, because I think red is the first one, then it goes to, like, orange then yellow then blue and then like a peachy red and then up 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 i can't remember the the the, the order but that took me down something fierce like good god man okay so ritual of awakening is that something i have to ritual of awakening Actually, let's do the harvester pylon first, because I'm, 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 I'm diving into this way too deep right now. Because I really, 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 really want to farm more um, gems and stuff. But let's set up a, like a mage bloom area. Let's set up a mage bloom area first. So I don't know if we have enough seeds per se. Do we have more seeds? No. And it's a nine by nine. <clears throat> three by three, five by five, seven by seven, nine by nine. One, two, three, four. So it's four on each side. Okay. 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 Let's go over here. We're just going to move this stuff around. We're going to take this. I'm going to block you. We're going to take you. Blo That's not what I meant to do. You. I take all you. Put you away. Okay. So now, you guys have been busy. Look at them sleeping in their little beds. Oh my god, the cutest little baby bees. Look at your babies. Okay. I kind of like this. It looks really pretty. I don't want to move that. But what I do want to do. Oh god, I have the absolute worst hiccups in existence. Okay. So it was four out. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to make this a lot prettier because this is just, what is, wow, look at how the Insanium shows up on the map. That's actually really gorgeous. Damn. Okay. Um, we're going to put you here. Okay, and then we need to... Oh, I forgot my bag was on, so that means one of these has eaten my... my hoe. Does efficiency matter on these? And I don't really need my hoe, because, uh... Um... Yeah, we have our stuff, but, uh... Okay, so for the growth accelerators, um, it was explained to me that obviously my Supremium ones are like way like just overkill for what I've been doing. But I mean, right now I have the resources, so it doesn't matter. But if it's like somebody that didn't have all those resources, you could do like, um, like the lower tier ones. So um, obviously I'm going to keep doing Supremium because... I have a ton of them. That is the highest one, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. I don't... How low do I have these stacked?
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Crap. There we go. So six. Okay, and it's four and four, right? So three, four, one. Thankfully it water logs, which is nice. I mean, I guess I could use this, but it's ooh, crazy. Oh, I'm like tapping my mouse. Okay. Two, three, wait, six, five, six, six. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is that six? Oh, the blocks are in my way. Can't see anything. Oh, crap. It was just, oh my gosh, uh, what am I doing? Brain, please. There we go. I can't see blocks. That should be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Gonna have to make more of these, I think. Yes, it's overkill, but you know what? I mean, we have the resources, so we have a stupid amount of resources. I'm just gonna zip through this. Two, three, four, five. Uh oh. That's too quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, you know what, I, I'm sick of tapping like this. I'm just gonna do, oh no, I can't because everything's at home. Oh crud, do I have anything in my bag? I guess I have this. Um, I have that and then I have, do I have a pick from something maybe? No, no I don't, I'm just gonna have to do this. I can't see past these blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Oh, one too many. That's why I was crouching. Because <laughs> of the speed boost. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to have to make more. I think I'm going to have to go to my chunk destroyer and... Um, and... Uh, do a thing. That's fine though. That's totes okay. Okay, so we're going to have to go to the chunk destroyer and get more Inferium. Two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. So I don't think we have how many of these ones here. Okay. Juicy. Okay. So now Need to do this, and then we need this. Oh boy, we're gonna go through the rankings again, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay. Yes, we do, my friends. A oh, wee oui, wee. Oui. You know what? I'm just gonna get comfy. Comfy cozy. My workout that I have been doing is absolutely clobbering my abs and my legs. So I've got to sit weird. Um, num, 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 there it is. Oh, no, we don't need that. We do need this, 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 this. Go like this. And away we go. 
We're just gonna stick this in our bags for now. I know people are gonna be like, auto crafting, Creo. I enjoy this, okay? <laughs> I enjoy this so much. I do need to learn the auto crafting stuff for AE though, I really do. Um, and I've had some people ask like why I do, if I just use AE in its most simplistic form, why I don't just stay with refined storage. Uh, because rainbows, for one. Because uh, applied energistics, just you can make so many cool systems with like, you know, the, the cables and everything and the controllers and everything's rainbows and all that stuff. And eventually I will get to that. There's a series that I actually linked to Jax, who is one of my moderators. I can't remember the name of the person. Let me just open Discord. This series has been really helpful. It's a bit old, but it's still really helpful. It's by... Oh my gosh. It's called the AE2... Oh, it's not that old, actually. It's 2023. It's by somebody called the Mind Crafters. Um, it, it was really, really helpful while I was getting, you know, deeper into refined storage. And then once I kind of hit, you know, that that wall with refined storage and then I learned about applied energistics, I was like, oh gosh, this looks really complicated. But then I saw that you could basically set it up like refined storage for, for like the first little bit. And then, but there's all these other like system things that you can do and rainbows and factory looking stuff. And oh my gosh, like I haven't even scratched the surface of what the mods in this pack can do. And that's what really excites me because like I said, a hundred episodes minimum, I would like the series to go, which is terrifying when you think about what happened with the update. And it's like, well, am I even going to be able to go past dot 40 without there being issues? Because I, I tried different updates. Like I tried 41, 42, 43, uh, which is why it took me two and a half hours because I was just really trying to see if I could at least move my way up a little bit. And I couldn't for whatever reason, it just does not want to play nicely. And I don't mind staying on dot 40 because the pack is still complete. It, it, things are good. It's just, I haven't run into anything that's game breaking for me. Um, and I have been able to, to update properly up until this point, like every single update, I would make sure it's updated because I'm that kind of person that like really, really wants to make sure my pack is always updated and I'm on the most recent thing, but for whatever reason, it's just, it's not letting me play nicely or it's not playing nicely with anything past dot 40 and I don't understand why um and it just it's confusing and uh, so if we are on dot 40 for the rest of the series so be it <laughs> we're on dot 40 for the rest of the series because that's just how it's gonna have to be my friends <laughs> um because um can I make an awaken or a, a master can I make a master whatchamahoosit a master gemstone? Is there a master gemstone? That's not how you spell gemstone in the slightest. Is it, there's an awakened supremium gemstone? There's no master gemstone though. But I can make this. Will that help? Will that last longer? If I do that, oh, I just wasted that. That's fine, whatever. Okay, well, um, yeah, we're gonna be doing a little bit of grindy grind, I guess. Uh, there we go. Is this... So, oh my gosh, you guys, this is... Oh, okay. where is it? There we go. I... No, if I have to do this... No, no, I gotta, I gotta go home. I gotta grab something that's not so freaking crazy. Do I have... Oh my gosh, good golly, Miss Molly. I keep moving. Do I have the digging claws? Because if I have the digging claws. I don't have the digging claws? Wait, what? How do I not have the digging claws in this world? I swore I had the digging claws. Oh, for. Okay. Well, I guess I don't have them. Son of a. And I need to go boop a bunch of mimics to get this. Oh, God. I have the mimic thing here and I have gone in and 
made it so the mimics camps are a little more frequent and higher up in the world instead of just constantly in the caves so maybe we can go around and try to get some mimics because i want those digging claws because those digging claws are going to make what i was just doing significantly easier but i really don't want to stop what i'm doing right now mimic leveling for neural um if we have time we'll do the mimics for now i'm just going to grab a normal pick I'm just gonna grab a normal pick and I'm gonna grab a normal shovel. I mean, I guess I could, do I have a Paxel? Do I just have like, I just need to make just a, like a normal Paxel. Can I just make like a normal Inferium Paxel? That should be better than a normal, a normal like thing, right? Just gonna make a basic B like Paxel, right? Because it's just gonna make my life significantly easier while I'm doing this. I know I totally just made more than I needed to, but that's fine. Okay. So you should make my life a little bit easier, I hope. Because, it, believe it or not, that speed is... It's great for when you're mining and stuff, but good golly. Alright, let's see. Let's see if this is easier on me. Oh, so much better. Oh, so much better. I can actually hold my mouse button down. Okay, so that's... And then the one here. Oh, 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 the blocks are still getting in my way but that's fine i can actually like just sense when i have to let go um i should be able to vein mine this oh good god there we go oh it's a little slow with the oars but that's okay my reach is still doing a thing. It's fine. I'm surprised I don't have the digging claws in this. I'm genuinely shocked. Genuinely shocked that I don't have the digging claws. Because I must... The, the thing with when you do worlds outside of outside of your recording worlds and stuff like that it just it's so easy to get confused um it's so easy to get confused i should have an insane amount of let's go to the chunk destroyer actually is the chunk destroyer going to be done by now is the question let's see because I kind of want to see. Um... Oh yeah, look at all that Inferium. I don't think she's going to be done though. Let's take a look real quick. I love that, I love that the Aldamodium looks like a bunch of stars. It's so cute. No, she's not even close to being done. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> uh oh, hiccups. Um, she's almost done. Now this is 30 by 30, so this is just massive. But we should still have a lot of Inferium. Um, in the, in the, the good old storage. Wait. Oh, you guys see this little glitch here? Wait. Is she still working? Wait. Oh yeah, there she goes. Okay. I was worried that we were out of power, but not, not freaking possible. 
the amount of power we're producing right now is just disgusting. But yeah, so you guys see how sometimes there's like little glitches. I don't know what that's from. That I mean, that could, genuinely that could have been no. That actually no, that wouldn't have been because this would have happened today. Apparently, CC sent uh, a clip of me geeking out over the the uh, mining tool <laughs> to <laughs> to direwolf. Wait, is it direwolf? Yeah, direwolf is the one that makes them, right? Yeah. Um, and I, he still hasn't told me what clip he sent him. But, oh my gosh, I was like, Cece, why? <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't want to see somebody being a total doofus over his cool, you know, creations. Oh my god. That just cracked me up. I thought that was funny and I would share because, uh, I mean, I did kind of geek out over that thing is pretty freaking cool. Like, I'm not gonna, oh, actually, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, where is it? Can I do this? Wait. How do I change the size of this? I don't remember how to change the size of this, hold on. Mining. Mining gadget settings, keypad one. Um, I can do three by three. Wait. Oh my god, can you slow your roll, bruh? Okay, there we go. I just went edgy edgelord, bruh. What, what is that? Oh. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. oh, no. Nope, 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 nope. Because if I even move slightly... Oh, crap. Yeah, if I even remove remove if i even move remotely slightly to like one side that's gonna take out my uh accelerator so never mind anyways uh, what was i saying oh god i don't remember now oh yeah i was geeking out pretty hard about it it's pretty cool it's a pretty cool tool i remember seeing something about it ages ago when i played sky uh f no was it sky factory i don't know if it was implemented in sky factory it was one of the one of the sky packs i was playing Let's just clear this out. But, um... I remember seeing it, and it was like before I was really... diving into... Why am I digging so... Why am I digging this so low? That makes no sense. It was before I was really comfortable digging into things, and I keep leaning into my mic. kind of oh my god it was kind of when i was just like experimenting and figuring out my absolute obsession with with mods and it's so funny that like oh god my upset i want to need you to slow down <laughs> chip pack is gonna drive me nuts it was before i really figured out my obsession with mods and like i um it's funny that it started with like, the, the love of mods started with maps, like, just having a, a map um, and getting permission to use a map, obviously, on the, the multiplayer server I was on. Just to double check that I did that right. But, uh, and then it just kind of snowballed from there, and then it went to texture packs, and then I was starting to, like, goob around with really hyper-realistic texture packs. And this was back in the, you know, the time of when Optifine was basically, like, the kingpin of things and you know if optifine was not updated nobody could use you know shaders and which was i'm so glad that time is over because good god that was annoying but uh yeah i i really really loved hyper realistic stuff and i was actually using seuss ptgi um shaders at that point and then i was using these like really crazy hyper realistic texture packs and oh gosh, they were beautiful. They were so beautiful. And my PC wasn't even nearly as good as it is now. So at some point I kind of want to maybe experiment with those again. But the only thing that really killed those for me was a lot of them were very vanilla because like obviously there's, oops, there's so many modded blocks to implement into these those kinds of texture packs. And I mean, I wouldn't expect anyone to do that. It's just, it's crazy. I'm sure there are some now, but it, it would throw me off whenever I would play modded and I would have these hyper-realistic packs on. 
and then like you know all these blocks looked amazing and then all of a sudden i was hit with these like normal minecraft textures so and it's funny my taste in texture packs has really changed like i don't use any texture packs now other than vanilla tweaks which makes um some blocks 3d so like my sugar cane uh my um like my ladders my uh doors my mushrooms and my crystal like my uh amethyst crystals and stuff like that and uh what else what else is it the dripstone i think and the you know lower shields and yada 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 but uh, i don't change any of the actual minecraft textures themselves anymore and honestly it just it's so much more fluid to me and it's definitely something I've gotten used to, but uh, I would love to have a hyper-realistic texture pack. I don't think I could ever run one of those with all the mods 9, though, because they are insanely, insanely heavy on your system because they're literally making it look like hyper-realistic, like exactly what I, you know, what, what it's called. So, uh, yeah. But <laughs> it would be really cool to have, like, if I ever, you know, Ouch, my legs. If I ever have a NASA PC, maybe one day I'll, I'll I'll spend some time and like maybe try to create something myself. But that would take a lot of time. Like crazy, crazy respect to the people who make these texture packs because that is time consuming. I hope that the All The Mods team um, with every Minecraft update are going to continue to make all the mods packs. I hope that they, you know, they continue to, you know, still love what they do and you guys continue to support them because obviously I'm going to continue to play all the mods. It's going to be, I think it took me some time to find that staple on my channel, but all the mods will always be something that I, I have going on this channel. Like obviously <laughs> when, when, whenever we're done all the mods nine, we'll go to a different pack and then, you know, when, say when all the mods 10 or something comes out or at some point we can dive back into older versions of all the mods if that's what you guys want, because I know all the mods is such a popular pack series and it, it's very sentimental to a lot of people. There's even all the mods to the sky. There's a bunch of different all the mods uh, variations that we can play. Uh, the thing with sky packs, though, is which is why I kind of fell out of love with the FTB sky series is because you're kind of limited in what you can do like not real that's not that's not the way, way to put it you're limited to it um you're kind of blocked to an uh, to a specific way of playing um and having to like create things and build things and put things together but then when that when that's done like as somebody who likes to adventure i mean don't get me wrong i've seen people do really long series on it and it, it's good if you you don't want to stay in one area and just build your own kingdom and which is really fun don't get me wrong but i'm as you guys can tell by this series i'm a massive adventure like a lover so and even in this pack there's not nearly enough structures like there's some really cool structures that are in a like cottage witch that are like kind of create structures where they like have these basements of doom basically and i think i can't remember integrated structures or something like that i can't remember the name of the mod but I would love to have more structures. That's the only thing that I, I miss from, like I'm missing in this pack. But uh, other than that, there's still plenty of things to explore. But, and we still haven't even got a Stargate. Like there's, oh gosh, I'm babbling. I know, I know, but I, I, I'm trying to get to fill the void of like me just making all of this stuff. But um, you guys get what I mean, right? Like it's, it's definitely the best kind of pack for me, for sure. And I, I absolutely adore uh, adore these these kind of packs, and uh, the All the Mods team are great. So, and they're really quick with their updates, which is nice, which is a good thing. You can tell they're very passionate about uh, about what they do, which is very nice. All right, so oh my god, it's barely even touching our supply. Like that's that's wild to me. It's absolutely wild to me. And I, I made a comment in the other video about, um, you know, uh, uh, mods giving their own progression with tools and all that stuff and whatever. It wasn't me saying that you're wrong for feeling that way. If that's your thought, like if you, if you, you don't like that you have to do that. I was just expressing in a way of how like I enjoy it and I think it's really cool especially when I'm at this point of this chunk destroyer is 
giving me so many resources like i don't mind making more tools and things like that the only thing i'm really um uh what's the word i'm looking for the only thing that i'm really <sighs> gated behind is like the gems and the the things in the in the godforge pearls and stuff like that but i mean we're gonna try to do that ritual and try to get the uh the dude to get farmed actually we need we need to do that like as soon as i'm done this because we don't have forever to record but um i don't think easy breezy thought to mention that in their comment which is fine uh we're just gonna have to figure it out on our own do I seriously not have any more of these? Oh my god. What? I literally have a bunch of them. What are you talking about? Ugh. No, it's tertium. Wait, what? <laughs> Did I make an oopsie? D Is it really getting used that quickly? Am I missing something here? Is it really getting used that quick? Wait, what? Why do I have so many Insanium gemstones? What is happening? Why is it getting used so quickly? Jimmy's oh, uh, uh, Goose, like what is happening? Okay, if that's not enough, I'm, I'm going to be real, real confused. I mean, my math is pretty bad, so it's probably not, but. Oh, no, that's probably not going to be enough. That's fine. I just want to get this done so we can do the ritual. B -b 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 ritual of awakening. I think I would really like these particles, you know, like these little fart bubbles from the fart bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> the flames from the um jetpack to not get in my way that'd be great oh we might have enough maybe fingers crossed oh my god if <laughs> if i could just click buttons properly today that would be ever so swell am i missing I feel like now I've missed some. I don't think I have though. Now somebody said this can get kind of laggy. So. I can see how it would with this many. Okay, we did it. Now. The question is. Oh, son of a. Okay, so we need some more Insanium farmlands. And then we're gonna probably have to make more Mage Bloom seeds. Oh my gosh, if I could type Mage, there we go. Oh wait, no, oh crap, they went in my bag, didn't they? They definitely went in my bag. Okay, so how do we make mage bloom seeds again? Um, 
Mage Bloom Seed. Source Gems and Seeds. Oh no. Will it collect seeds? It should, right? Um, am I going to have to make more seeds? Okay, I'm going to have to do that between episodes because I really want to do this ritual of awakening. Okay. So how does one do this ritual of awakening? Are you going to collect seeds? I don't know if you're going to... does. Can I turn these into seeds somehow? No, I don't think I can. Okay, let's do the Ritual of Awakening. Let's see. Is this going to take a ton of time? Because we might have to do it next time. Um, Ritual of Awakening. Ritual. Oh, there's a book. There, there's a literal book, Creo. There's a book, Creo. There's a book. Cece's rolling over right now. Okay, where is it? Ours. Ours. No. Ours. So, entry, ritual. Performing a ritual requires a ritual brazier and a tablet. Once you have obtained a tablet and a brazier, place your brazier in the world and use a tablet on it. The brazier will ignite and is awaiting activation. Right, but. Awakening. Awakens nearby archwood trees into- Oh, that's how you make the walkers! Those dudes that I was talking about! Okay, but again, that's not what I'm looking for. I don't understand what they meant by a ritual of awakening to get him into the jar. I need to- oh my god. I just really- oh. Though I am super curious about this. Because those are the guys that I was talking about. Those- those big- uh, those big dudes. So let's- let's put that on the list. Tablet of awakening. Four tree dudes. Okay, so, but here's the question. I, <laughs> I want to put the dude in the jar so the Drigme can farm him. But the problem is... Let's press control. Player dummy in a jar will attract nearby mobs. Oh, here we go. Containment. Captures a nearby entity and places it into any nearby placed containment jars. So a tablet of containment. Okay, but I need a manipulation essence. How do I make a manipulation essence? Manip manipulation essence. A clock, a redstone dust, stone button. Clock, redstone, clock, clock. Clock, clock, redstone dust, stone button, stone, stone, stone baton, button, there we go. And then it is, oh my god. Um, this. Like that. Imbuement chamber. Wait, do I not have an imbuement chamber? Oh, right here. One, two, three. Wait, what? Imbuement chamber? This? Source gem? Can I put the source gem there? No? Wait. Do I have to put them all in here? Does it all go in the... Wait... What has to be found? A pedestal that are required, they must be placed within the one block cube or in the chamber. Oh! Pedestals! Oh! Okay, hold on. 
I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. Ever so slightly. I understand. Like this? Am I doing this right? I think I'm doing this right. Maybe? Possibly? Hopefully? Maybe? Yes? There we go. Boop. There we go. Boop. There we go. Boop. 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 And there we go. Um. I'm doing something wrong. I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> Even chamber. Yes. And source. But wait. What? Give me that. Ah crap, my backs are on. my backs? <laughs> my my bags are on. Um this. It's gonna be enough, source? Maybe? Possibly? Boop. What about this? Boop. Wait, what? What am I doing wrong? It has to be pedestals, right? Wait, what? I'm confused. Wait, where's my... Why? Did my jade settings... What? For some reason, my tooltips are gone. And I don't know why. My tooltips disappeared. Oh. How did my tooltip get Okay, anyways. Um So yeah, am I am I in Beeman Chamber, right? That's an abuman chamber. Source shards, two blocks in best card addition. I just place a pedestal with it. Oh, one block because I'm an absolute doofus. So one block. One, two, three. Right? One, two. Three. There we go. Okay, wait. Oh, the items didn't get used. Okay. Um, no, what was I <laughs> Um, I forgot to save it. It was, uh... Oh. Uh-oh. Um, containment? Containment. There we go. Then this, and then this. Okay. A tablet, uh, so I have to put down the dude, right? Captures a nearby entity and places it into any nearby place containment jars. Okay, so I have to put the containment jar down. Oops. I have to put this here, this here. Can I move the containment jar with the guy in it, though? Get. Wait. 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 No! Come back! Oh, God. No! <laughs> you stupid little mother flipper! Get your butt over here! Dude! Get- Ugh! Ugh! I should have put him in a stupid hole. Okay, so wait. I'm confused as to how this works. Consumes on use. Left control for more info. Captures a nearby entity. After the first capture, this ritual requires additional source to continue. So it has to be, there has to be source. Am I understanding this correctly? So here's source, put that there. We're gonna put him in a hole. This is a brat. Gonna put him here. Okay, I'm confused. Ah. Oh my god, this is confusing as heck. Okay, wait. Do I have to put this on there? 
Does this... Does this have to be... Here? And him here? Wait. Wait. Oh, frick. Wait. <laughs> How do I get this out of the containment jar? Oh, no. Oh. Help. Oh. How do I... Oh, no. Um... Uh-oh. I'm doing something wrong. What is happening? Captures a nearby entity and places it. After the first capture, this ritual requires additional source. Right, but... Oh my god. And now I can't get it out of the jar! Oh my god, how do I get it out of the jar? Uh, whatever, I'm just gonna make another one. Oh. Okay. I need a source gem. What am I doing wrong? Wait, do I not have any source gems? Are you freaking serious? Oh, wait. I'm done. Man, I have to be- what am I misunderstanding here? Oh, this one doesn't have any, um, source near it. Oops. What am I doing wrong? Like, I... Do I have to consume it near the entity, like myself? Like, do I have to eat this? Okay, like, if, if he's in the hole... And then I put this here... What? I, I don't understand. Why is this so difficult? See the ritual of containment for more info. Ritual of containment. Right. <sighs> Wait. So do I have to have a brazier then? And a tablet. Once you have obtained a tablet and a brazier, place your brazier in the world and use a tablet on it. The brazier will ignite and is awaiting activation. Right, but then what happens with the... I'm so confused. I'm so utterly confused. Okay, now what? <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Like, what am I supposed to... Am I supposed to put a containment jar there? Like, do I... Like that, and then, like, <laughs> I'm so confused, you guys. I, <sighs> capture a nearby entity and places it into any nearby placed containment jar. The ritual requires additional mobs and jars must be within three blocks of the brazier. It, 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 yeah, they are? They are. Jar? Mob. Okay. Ah! I am just stupid! Okay, I did it! Look at me! It only took me a million years! Now! Oh! Jeez! 
Now, the big question is, how do I make the Drigmi farm him? Oh, for fudge sakes. Okay, so we've got our stinky. Now, the question is, how do I make little Drigmi farm him? I don't know where even where I want to put this to test this. Like, I just... Oh, I need more source jars. Source... Wait, what is it called again? These things? Yeah, they are source jars. Source... Jar. I'll put another one here. Boop. And then we're going to plant some more... Source berries. Like this. So do I make the drink me do it the same way? Like I use the dominion wand and yada yada yada, so on and so forth. I'm assuming that's how I would do that, yeah? So if I do the wands, like so, and then I make a chest, or get a chest, like so, and then I do the drig me, which I think I have put away. Oh, stop. Oh my god. Um... Where's my drag me? Here we go. And then if I do this, like if I do this, and then I do this, and then I do this, wait. This? No. Wait. Drag me charm. Right. Okay, enchanting apparatus. That's this, right? Put that there, right? No. Okay, let's get the items, I guess. So, fish? Does it, can it be any fish? I'm assuming it can be a fish? Fish? Any fish? I mean, I have all these fish, that's fine. And then we do wheat, apple, carrots. Wheat. Apple. Carrots. Oh, it's a golden carrot. Oops, oops, oops. How do I not have carrots? Carrots. So people said it doesn't matter how you put them. So boop, 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 boop. Okay. And then seeds and three source gems. Oh, for fudge sakes, go away! I'm busy! God! I'm so hyper focused. It's like, can you just not? Can arrows, hello? You guys are watching this, right? Like the bouncing off of him. Is that it? Okay. I guess I'm gonna have to sleep, or I'm gonna be utterly annoyed. Good God. Now I forget what I was doing. Source gems, I think, right? One, two, three, and then seed. Seed. I mean, people said it doesn't really matter how you do it, right? There we go. Oh, there's the sound! So pretty! All oh, these arrows are ruining the moment. Okay. So now, what does this do? Okay, so now how do I do it? What? Drigmies are often found following and tending to animals around it. They can be found anywhere, though. Drigmies can be given a home in the world. They will produce items from nearby monsters and animals that they are slain without harming them. A wild drigme may be befriended by throwing a wild and whore near it. You may dye a drigme cyan, orange, brown. To summon a Drigme, use a Drigme charm on a block of mossy cobblestone. After a short time, the cobblestone will transform into a Drigme henge. And summon your Drigme to summon additional Drigmes. Okay. Okay, so mossy cobblestone. Like this. There we go. And then do I use my wand on him? And like, oh, hi. Oh, you're so cute. 
little buddy. Do I do this? I don't want to hit that in case I hit him. Does he farm him and then put it in the chest? How do I tell him to put it in the chest? Oh my god, these torches. God, please go away. How do I tell him to put it in the chest? He's so cute. How do I tell him to put it in the chest? I don't want to hit him. Can I move him? I just, I just want to get rid of this torch. There we go. Okay. Does he store it in here? Wait. How do I make him store it in the chest, though? Position set. How do you make him... Uh, after a short time, a cobble stone transferred in a dream. seven additional drink means. A drink me considers its home to be 10 blocks in every direction from its home. The drink me will use this area to produce items from any entities nearby. Your drink me's efficiency is dependent on its happiness. This may be increased for each entity nearby with a bonus for each unique type in its home. Nearby containment jars will also count as an entity. Each drink me working around a henge contributes progress. Once maximum progress has been reached, the henge will generate items and experience gems and deposit them into adjacent chests. Each time this occurs, the henge will require source to recharge. Okay. Okay. So I've done, I've done an oopsie. Oh, Oh, okay, it gives me the charm back. That's fine. Okay, so nearby chest to the henge. Okay. Okay. Adjacent. Okay, so this here, like this. Actually, I kind of want this to be a little nicer looking, like. Um, this here and then do like this here, and then do this here. So I can have more than one drig me, but I'd like to get another treasure goblin then. There he is. Okay. Dependent on its happiness, okay. Uh, drink me's happiness experience value of the entities. To get started, place a chest and jar of source next to the henge. Jar of source. Okay. So a jar of source next to the henge. So, boop. Okay. Okay. Drink me considers his home to be 10 blocks. So Drink me will use this area to produce items from any entity nearby. Drink me's efficiency is dependent on its happiness. This may be increased for each entity nearby with a bonus for each. Okay, so should I just get more Drink me's or should I... This counts as an entity, so if I get another... Another goblin in a jar? Like, should we go and try and get another goblin? Because then I can put, like... Another goblin, like, here... Um, should we, tr oh, that shouldn't go in there, but whatever. Um, should I try to go and get another goblin real quick? Because, okay, the wand doesn't do anything for this. Um, I am, my bags are all goobered up. Oh, no. So he's just doing his little dance, all cute and stuff. Did it say how I can do more, um, oh, so I, if I make more charms, I can summon them all on that one specific henge. Okay, let's do another Drigme charm then. Because I want him to have some buddies. I'm going to have to make some more source gems, though.
I just realized I stole the uh, source jar from this. So I'm going to do this and put you here. Ouch. You, you, you. Oh, this is so absolutely adorable. Okay. So now we need fish. So it's fish, seeds, fish, seeds, carrots, apples, wheat, apples, wheat, source. Let's see if I can remember. So it was you. You, 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 and then one, two, three, and then, oh, my drag me charm is gone. You. I'm gonna try to give him a few buddies, but I definitely want to get another loot goblin. Okay, so we got that. Do another one. Doot, 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 doot. Okay, so we can do two more. Here we go. Oh, they're just standing there like that's so goofy. Okay, so adjacent. This is still considered adjacent, right? Okay. Interesting. So I'm gonna have to tinker around with this and uh get these guys going and all that jazz because oh my gosh, there's just so many things to do. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. This was a lot of fun, and I am definitely going to have to be working on some of this stuff between episodes to get the Drigmies all set up. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!